Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Yeremia Mardik was killed by the order of Ilyam Aliyev. Artsakh will never be part of Azerbaijan. Artsakh MFA statement. The enemy destroyed the Madatashem village school, the house of culture, the monument and damaged the school of the Saint Astvatsadzin in the territory of Azerbaijan. Foreign Ministry statement. Pre-Christian Armenian language inscription. Youth Media Initiative in Akhalkalak ended with presentation. In Western Armenia, archaeologists have discovered the existence of a forgotten kingdom. At Expo 2020 Dubai, the Armenian pavilion attracts visitors from around the world. Marty Yereman was killed by an Azerbaijani soldier on the Shushi Stepanagert Road yesterday. The soldier and three others having received permission from the Russian peacekeepers and Azerbaijanis on the section of the road, which is considered a neutral zone, carried out work to find out a new water pipeline. An Azerbaijani approaches them from the post of Turks, says that something the guys don't understand, and they say in Armenian that they have a permit and are working on water supply. And it is at that moment that an Azerbaijani soldier pulls out a pistol and shoots Yeremian from a distance of 5 meters. The rest of the unarmed friends tried to hide. The Azerbaijani soldiers managed to shoot them and leave. President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian, expresses his condolence to Martik's parents, family, relatives and friends. President Armenak Abraham declares that President Ilyam Aliyev is directly responsible for the death of Martik Yeremian. Hatred by the Armenian people blinded his reasoning and ability to make decisions. He is leading his people to disaster. Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh has issued a statement in connection with the anniversary of the end of the 44-day war. We present part from this statement. A year ago, in 2020, on November 9, with effort of the Russian Federation, a trilateral statement was signed by the President of Russia, the Prime Minister of Armenia and the President of Azerbaijan. It made it possible to put an end to the 44-day armed aggression of Azerbaijan against Artsakh with the direct military participation of Turkey. International Mercenaries and terrorists from the Middle East. As a result of 44-day destructive aggression, Azerbaijan occupied a significant part of the territories of Republic of Artsakh, including the historical and cultural center Shushi. During the fighting, the Azerbaijani army committed many war crimes. However, the use of force cannot abolish one of the fundamental principles of the international law, the equal rights and self-determination of peoples enshrined in the UN Charter and fundamental international documents. The position of the official step and the will of the people of Artsakh remain unchanged. Artsakh will never be part of Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijanis destroyed the Madatashem village school in House of Culture, the monument and damaged the Surp Astatsadzin church in Artsakh. Monitoring of the cultural heritage of Artsakh, monument watch dot organization, the site writes, According to the satellite images from October 10, 2021, the enemy destroyed a school in the village of Madatashen in Askeran district and reached the wall of the church at the school, which in fact is under threat. Since 2015, the school has been renamed Madatashen, in the building of which the village administration and the House of Culture were also located. Next to the church, there was a monument of the victims of Artsakh war, which the enemy also destroyed immediately after the occupation of the village. The video distributed by Azerbaijani site clearly shows how an armed Azerbaijani soldier breaks and destroys. The history of the village of Madatashem begins in the middle of 17th century and received its name on behalf of general in the Russian army Valerian Madatov. It is located 24 km from Stepanakert. The St. Astvazajin church in the village was built in 1904. The wall of the church are damaged, the roof too. The first information about this sculpture is given by literary and art critic Garegin Levonian, who in one of the foreign magazines sees a picture of this sculpture about which, in his article, he expresses confidence that the best relief clearly refers to the ancient Armenian pagan times. Read the full material on our official website. The final presentation of the project of the public organization People in Need with the participation of young girls from the city of Akhalkalak and villages took place in Akhalkalak. Within the framework of this project, four media initiatives were implemented in Akhalkalak, two of which were mentioned by the Javahi Information Center and two projects were coordinated by local ATV12 television. The youth presented their media products, thereby touching upon the importance of the awareness in Javah, women's participation in election and politics. The presentation was attended by the chairman of Sagra Bulo Akhalkalak, Municipality Nairi Iritian, Deputy Seda Melkumian, and others. This project is being implemented in Georgia by the chief non-profit People in Need organization. 
Analysis of a stone discovered during archaeological excavation in the Konya Valley of Western Armenia showed that there was an ancient Armenian church belonging to the 9th century BC. The stone was found by the farmer. Then he turned to the scientists from the archaeological group of the Oriented Institute of the University of Chicago, who were there, and led them to the specified stone block. The stone was immediately sent to the nearest museum for closer examination. Analysis and the help of the specialist translators revealed the meaning of the symbols on the stone. In fact, these are Luvit hieroglyphs, which are on ancient Indo-European language from 9th to 7th century. Hieroglyphs raised the victory of King Karpatu over Brugia. This kingdom is about 3000 years old, that time King Midas reigned. Numerous guests from different countries of the world visiting the Armenian Pavilion at the World Expo 2020 in Dubai are getting acquainted with the Armenian historical and cultural values, tourist places of our country and economic opportunities with interest. At the exhibition, representatives of Armenia carry out expensive dairy work for a comprehensive presentation of our country, as well as organize numerous important meetings. The message reads, Lidit Hakopan, director of Armenian Pavilion, and Georg Bagdasarian, senior manager of investment promotion and external relations of the expressive Armenian Foundation met with representatives of the Kuwait Direct Investment Promotion Agency. During the meeting, the sites presented the investment environment, attractiveness and business opportunities of the two countries as a result of which the parties agreed to organize a visit of the Armenian delegation to Kuwait for joint discussion and clarification of the upcoming tasks of cooperation. Now musical part. Or bar and hey bar songs. The full material is available on our official website. This was all for today. Goodbye.